Cocaine and Xanax pumped through the veins of this man when he caused a crash that changed a local family's life forever. Today, he apologized and pleaded guilty. I just want to say I'm terribly sorry to you and your family. All this as an 11-year-old victim is fighting for normalcy in the hospital. Now, Channel 9 has been following this emotional case since the crash happened just days before Christmas. And now as the driver, Clifford Scoggins, heads to prison, that family of the victims says it's tough to hear the sentence is just four years. Gaston County reporter Ken Lemon was in the court today for that plea and apology and some tough words from the judge. Ken? Yeah, that judge upstairs in 4C wanted to make sure that Clifford Scoggins understood he made so many dangerous mistakes when he got behind the wheel, injuring that 11-year-old child who is still in the hospital recovering. Clifford Scoggins seemed to tear up when he said, I'm sorry for the wreck. Go, go, go. That critically wounded 11-year-old Jerian Wright. We saw it. You and your family. Judge Jesse Caldwell said that doesn't excuse his actions. You, you were driving without a driver's license, right? His license was revoked, and prosecutors say he had a mixture of cocaine, Xanax, and amphetamines in his system when he rear-ended this car. Jerian's mother was driving with him and his seven-year-old sister inside. They were stopped at a red light when Scoggins crashed into them, sending them all to the hospital. Jerian spent three weeks in a coma and is still in rehab more than two months later. Of all the people in the accident, you wind up the most unscathed. Jerron's mother learned today that Scoggins had drugs in his system. That was overwhelming, like I had no idea. Scoggins accepted a plea agreement of four years in prison. Jerron's mother wanted him to get more time, but she was satisfied that the court case is over. I'm just, I'm just kind of glad this part is over, but it's not, I don't feel like it's the end of it. She can now focus on her son's recovery. Jerron's sister reads to him in the hospital. He can now move one finger on command, but he cannot talk or walk. His family doesn't think Scoggins understands the life he changed. He continued to do things he shouldn't have done. So who knows where it's going to stop. Now, Jerian is expected to complete his rehab at the hospital, come home and do more rehab with his family. That's an important factor in this case because uh, as this plea stands right now, if Jerian's condition gets worse, then prosecutors, according to this plea, will not be able to come back and file more serious charges. Live in Gastonia, Ken Lemon, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. And uh, the main thing here, everyone just hoping that that little boy can recover. All right, Ken, thank you.